just what everybody wanted, right? That's right. What do you want to do? Uh, we'll put it right up here. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good one. Appreciate it. It comes out. Yeah. Holy so like you can just like cut trees down. Yeah. Like you don't. Like you can just go. New toy, baby. I don't know how to work this thing, but it looks sick. Shoo! Well, folks, it has been uh, well since you guys have been really since you guys uh, saw us unload the land shark. It's been about a week, and uh, well, the land shark guys are coming in town to help me set it up. If you guys don't know what it is, it'll be linked down below. You guys can go check it out. It's hands down the. Are you done? It is hands down the coolest tractor attachment I have ever seen in my entire life. And it's not even like for farming necessarily. It's more for like deer plots and like land management, hunting, fishing. Not really fishing. I mean, I guess we can use it for fishing. But like you guys will see a little bit later what we do with it. Made to clear lanes through like timber and brush. You guys will see it. Basically, it's like a lawnmower that you attach to the front of your tractor and you can like wave it wherever you want and just cut up whatever you want. Essentially, we are going to do some insane things with it. But they are going to be here in a little bit. But before we do that... We gotta check on the goats. See how these guys, oh, oh, chill, chill, oh, chill. Would you guys just behave, all right? Yesterday, this dude and this dude were fighting like crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, brawling. And then, obviously, like, Buddy over here is just trying to, you know, do his thing. They're looking all right. I mean, they got water. I wanna make sure they've got some food and that they're doing goat things. Go ahead and get in. Yep, yep, it's turned off. Okay, good. What's up, goats? This dude, he always runs. He always runs into the grain bin every time I come in here. Scary. Come here, buddy. Buddy, you you guys were friends though. We were. You guys bonded. He's still not like about you guys. Like like, he's still not like about humans. I don't know why. Like he's chill, but like he doesn't like being touched very much. Versus like this dude. Like this dude's my homie right here, and she's my homie too. She just chills. But you try to grab him, and he just look at him. See? Yeah, he, he likes to wrestle. So I've got this thing. This is a new attachment, new majigger thing for them to climb on. One of my neighbors I actually met gave them to me. So I don't know if they're going to use it for climbing, but hey, I guess uh, it's worth a shot. Anyways, I'm just going to see if they had any grain left, if I need to refill their bowls or not. Oh, they ate it. Well, they got a little bit left, but not much. Dude, it took them forever to eat all that. Really? Because I, I was feeding them like branches and stuff too. Oh, but like, true. all right, we should probably give them some more grain and then, uh, and then we'll be good to go. Goat feed coming in hot. Watch out, folks. Go, buddy eat up it's your breakfast they're all eating look one two three all of them got their own bowl and the duck is losing it we gotta go check on the ducks all right junior what do you have to say you have just been squawking up all morning can i help you oh we need to change your water yeah you, you guys dirty that up last night didn't you what's up chickens how's it going god dang you guys murked your water last night that was clean bro here you guys want some snacks what is this this is a uh, mealworm and oat. What's up, little guy? You guys have food? Oh yeah, you still have food. All right, we're check for you. Got any guesses, Johnny? I'm gonna guess. I haven't checked. I checked it yesterday afternoon, so yeah, I'll guess, it might not be many. I'll guess four. Four. I'm gonna guess two. Three. Two on this side, and one right here. Boom. Chickens are laying eggs. We got brown, light teal. brown and teal. Oh, all right. Goats been fed. Ducks fed. Chickens fed. Need to change their water real quick. And uh, we got eggs. Anyways, it's about that time. Lane Shark guys should be here. You guys stay tuned. Look at that thing. Well, folks, it's been a minute. It's uh, well, kind of in the evening. It's like four o'clock. I did not film a whole lot with the Lane Shark guys because they filmed a bunch for their YouTube channel, which will be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. We did some pretty cool things with this thing. You'll see it in a little bit later. In today's episode, we'll kind of show off a little bit. I mean, you guys saw a little bit of the maneuvering of it, but not the full effect of it. Um, but essentially, we tilted this thing up so the blade was like facing this way, and we grabbed a pumpkin and threw it in there, and it exploded. It's pretty sick. So it'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out on their YouTube channel. But huge shout out to Land Shark. They came out here. They flew three employees out here to help me hook this thing up. Look how look at this. There's hydraulic hoses. You know me and anything that after you'd put together mechanical, it's just not going to happen. And uh, so they flew some guys out here to help me do it and they went ahead and installed everything and i am going to kind of start the journey of cleaning up around here 
this thing is absolutely crucial. Essentially, if you guys don't know what it is, the bush hog that I have for the back of my mower, but like really small and confined and precise. And then this also like moves in different angles. So you can like trim trees. You guys will see a little bit later, but like this thing is absolutely insane. I didn't even know it existed until I saw it. And I was like, oh my God, this, I have to have this thing. I absolutely have to. It's going to be a necessity. So what we're going to do, John and I, before we get started, because we're going to run down to the shop where the animals are. There's a bunch of overgrown trees and we're going to try to take care of as many as we can before it gets too dark. Um, but there's about 3.7 trillion trees that need to get trimmed around this place. So this thing is going to be put to use like no freaking other. But anyways, if you guys want to check out Land Truck, they'll be linked down below. They got some cool videos on it. And uh, if you have a homestead or you do any land management, if you have deer properties, you have an overgrown forest and you want to make shooting lanes or like food plot areas literally that's what this thing's designed for so if you have any of that you guys gotta check it out this thing's absolutely insane so anyways without further ado i'm gonna jump in the tractor head down to the shop start cutting some trees you guys stay tuned <laughs> Woo! well we made it down to the shop the animal area but this is the first thing right here. These tall shrubbery. Yes, you could take the bush hog, and do, but you know what? It's just a little bit easier. You guys will see. Cut this thing down. This thing can cut down freaking trees and cut grass and cut pretty much whatever you want. So I'm going to cut this first. And then look at all that. That How many times have you drilled your body parts on that Too thing? Too many times. Like an insane amount where like, you, like my truck gets scraped every single time I go down there. And there's a tree down there. And there's a tree like way down there. But yeah, there's like a tr basically all these trees. And then there's one right by the shop that I drill my face on every single time I get the tractor out of the shop. So we're going to start going ham here. You guys stay tuned. Dude, I felt like Optimus Prime up there with like freaking just like limbs that can cut things and like destroy things. I feel like we need to uh, do like a fruit ninja scene or something like pineapples, watermelons. Comment down below, what should we throw in the lane shark? This is like, it's mind boggling. Like, I don't know what, it probably looks insane from your view, but from my view, it's like I'm way up here cutting trees. I mean, I'm cutting trees 15 feet high, easily 15 feet high. Took care of all the limbs that I basically wanted to clear all this out. And the idea that I want to use for this mostly other than just like random tree clippings is down there on the other side of my shop. I've shown you guys before. It's where they had hogs and other animals and it is so overgrown. It's absolutely ridiculous. And it would take days and days and days with a chainsaw. So I think I'm going to hopefully later this week, find a path to get this tractor down and just start going ham and, and cutting everything down because it's just completely wasted space the way it's sitting right now. Like there's not, it's not open enough for animals right now. The animals are all in open space. I like to have them kind of in open spaces too. And that's a really perfect place to have animals because I have animals on the right side of my shop. It'd be perfect to have them on the left side as well. Um, but this thing is going to come in handy to cut these suckers down. The other thing that I wanted to mention, if you guys are interested in getting them, is the guys at Landshark gave me a brilliant idea. And that's if you're like going through a forest and like cutting down. So you guys can see there's like, there's like limbs everywhere and stuff and you got to go pick them up. But what you can do is what they told me to do is attach the bush hog behind you instead of the whatever box scraper I have, you know, the, the mower, the shredder. Basically, as you're cutting trees down, your shredder shredding them up and basically it like mulches it up to where it just kind of can de decay. So there's no pickup. So looking at this, it seems like there's a trillion limbs and pieces for you to pick up. But if you have a shredder running behind you, you don't have to do that. This thing is absolutely game changing. And uh, I cannot wait to try to get it down in that forest and start doing other things. But like I said, comment down below, what should we do with this? That's a little bit non-conventional, meaning fruits, pumpkins. We already did pumpkin. That's going to be on their channel. Um, stuff like that. What do you guys think we should throw into the blade as a, uh, as a little fun project? Anyways, that's enough cutting for now. I mean, that took care of like all the really menacing branches that we have. There's a lot of other stuff. Um, you know what we should do? Let's take some of these branch clips and throw them in with the goats and give them some food. And then John had this great idea of throwing some minnow traps in a creek that's behind my house and seeing if we can catch anything, maybe some crawfish to stock in the backyard pond. So anyways, let's go see if these goats like the branches. 
I feel like they'd eat this one. This one looks good. We'll give them, we'll give them a, well, a buffet today. So one nice thing about clearing out all these trees, I'm not a big, I'm not a big advocate for just like cutting trees out for no reason. There are a lot of these, just like these tiny little miscellaneous trees um, that are kind of in the pain, a pain in, in the way. So it is good to know that, you know, stuff like this can go to use. It can't be for firewood. Obviously it's not big enough, but like at least the goats are munching on it. So it makes me feel a little bit better about cutting trees down. That way they don't just completely go to waste. We're gonna see if these goats like a little evening snack. All right, let's see what they think. Nice. Oh God, they're munching right away. Sheesh, look at them. They love it. God dang, save some for the rest of them, boys. Dear Lord. Well, they like that tree, so if I ever decide to cut that down, I know where to where to put it, but that's good. That'll be a good evening snack for them. We'll give them some grin when we're done, but we, we should go set some minnow traps before it gets dark. See if we can find a good spot. Woo, well, we made it down to the creek. This is like pretty close to my house, right down the road. And uh, I didn't ever even notice it, but this thing freaking rips. So it's like this, this creek over here runs over here. So we're thinking, we might put one minnow trap on one side, one minnow trap on the other, because this side also looks pretty minty, because it's like, this is like an actual creek, which by putting a trap there, you'd cover a little bit better ground, I feel like, if you just kind of threw it, and it kind of, there's kind of like a dam with this thing, meaning maybe some bait is sitting there. Also, any bait that got washed to this side would be pretty much what seems to be pinned in there. It's all kind of dammed up. Uh, don't, we could walk all the way down there, but what if, what if we just throw one here, like run down there, throw it up there, and then throw one on this side? and see which one works. We have a crawfish trap and a minnow trap. I'm not sure which side I want where, but all I have is dog food. That's the only thing I could really find. So, which is supposed to work for bait fish and stuff. So we'll throw dog food and I'll come out here tomorrow morning and check it. And if there's nothing, maybe we'll switch to like, we've done beef jerky and stuff like that before, especially for crawfish. But which, which one do you think should be for which side? Which one would you expect crawfish on more? This side, probably? I would say. Like the bigger hole one here. Yeah, I put the bigger hole one here. And then the, the and then the one small over one over there. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. So I guess we'll get two ropes out and throw them down here. It's been raining, so it's muddy and nasty and it's it's ripping. So we might not catch anything or we might catch a whole bunch. You guys, you guys will just have to stay tuned. I think that'll work. Is this good. thing falling through or what? Uh oh. We got maybe too small dog food. Uh oh. We'll just see how much stays, I guess. We got anything else? We got duck food and goat food. I don't think that'll help. Do you, you think minnows like the, the goat treats? It's an odd combo, but we're, hey, we're going with it. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll hold enough, but not ideal. Probably should've got some bigger dog food. All right, adios, trap. Boom. Boy, oh, it's still sinking. Boy, that is deep. All right, it's settled. Dude, that's at least like five or six foot deep. All right, first trap set. Time to go to the skinny side. <sighs> Some leftover nuggets from last time. These are smaller holes, so they should work better. Yeah, this one. Oh no, they're no, they're still falling out. All right. They might hang on that wall too, so I say just leave it right here. Yeah, we'll just do that. Boom. Trap number two set. See you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, folks. It is the next day, and we gotta feed the animals before we go check those minnow traps. Priority number one. Oh, they did, they, you guys broke the table. What the hell, man? We gotta feed the animals before we go check the traps. That's priority number one. You guys broke the table. It was, it was kind of st structurally unsound. We can fix it, though. Honestly, all we need to do is grab, like, honestly, we have some here. That's what we should do, is uh, run, like, a couple two by fours across it and just put some supports in it, but. Why'd you break it? I blame you, big boy. Big boy definitely broke it. All right, kids. It, excuse me. God, they are just not patient. Did you guys just relax? You act like there's not a field of grass around here for you guys to munch on. All right, don't worry, big boy. We're coming to you. Look at this. It freaking snapped it in half. Let's see. How's your guys' bedding? Oh, yeah. It looks like they've been just laying. You can see where they've been laying right there. You're pretty much out of food, aren't you, big boy? You want some more? All right, we'll get you some more. Perfect. All right, well, we need to fix this and we don't have time right now. We need to go feed the chickens and go check on the minnow traps, but we'll have to come fix this. It won't be that hard. Just put it back in place, put it back in place. I think we just run, run some two by fours across it. They'd be doing good. Anyways, check on the chickens. I don't see any. Where are the chickens at? Uh oh, you think they got murked? Dude, this is weird. I've never not seen the chickens earlier this morning. Oh, I hear them, I hear them. We're good, whoo, heart stop for a second. What's up, big boy? What have you been up to? Hey, look at that nice clean water you got. You guys enjoyed that last night? 
All right, well, let's see how the, the chick, what the, why are all the chickens under there? Usually they're out like running around scratching this morning. There's the chickens, what's up? What are you guys doing inside? You guys afraid of the sun or what? How many do we got? We got three, six. Why y'all inside? I feel like they're normally not all inside. Are you hanging out or what? Perfect. How many eggs do we have this morning? Sheesh, we got three. Yeah, that's not bad. Hey, they're doing pretty good. All right, come on chickens, come on. All right, animals taken care of. Let's go check the mail traps. Woo, and we made it to the mail traps. Well, <laughs> uh, it uh, definitely looks like somebody messed with it. We had this all tucked back in there, just so it's kind of out of the way. And it's completely drung up and around. That is so, oh, I can see all the dog food all swollen up. I don't know if there's anything in it. Someone definitely messed with it, though. Do you think there's anything in it? Oh, uh, crawfish, yes. I see crawfish, dude. Look at this guy. One. One tiny little crawfish. That's a baby. Hey, that'll work, though. Hey, we're just trying to trying to feed the bass in the pond. And that's perfect, honestly, if it was like one and a half, two pound bass that we have. And that's in the minnow trap. I wonder if the crawfish trap has a bunch more. Okay, so we know there's crawfish on this side. It'll be interesting to see what there's on the other side. So I'm going to throw this down. Let's go to the other side. We might need to get another crawfish trap put on this side. If there's nothing in that one, we should move the crawfish trap over here. Hey, that's not bad. Free bait, baby. Let's go check trap number two. All right, trap number two. This is on the really deep side with the crawfish trap. We have anything. One crawfish. One, dude, these are the smallest crawfish I've ever seen. No dog food. So it either all floated out or they, it got eaten. Those are the tiniest crawfish I've ever seen in my entire life. That is straight bass candy right there. Oh yeah. Well, we got two crawfish. Let's go put them down in the pond. Well, made it down to the pond. Gotta get these little juniors out of here. These are the smallest crawfish I've ever seen in my entire life. I kind of want to put them on a hook, dude, like low key. We should try to catch some more and maybe make a video of putting them on a hook. Cause like if you put that thing on like a, just a little, I don't even know, like a shaky head or a drop shot and just dangled it, like something for sure would bite it. He's just the littlest little sucker. Is he gonna pinch? Oh, 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 oh. All right, you're going in the pond, big guy. All right, Bass, here you go. Oh yeah, he's definitely getting murked. He's a little bit bigger, but not by much. He's still just a little wee guy. All right, here you go, Bass. Boom! Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of trapping. We got crawfish in the creek. It's not, I wouldn't say it's like really in my backyard. It's literally just like if you're here at the pond, it's like right down there, but it's a lot easier to go around through the road than it is to walk down in this little ravine, but it's pretty much just like right in my backyard. So it's good to know that there's a creek with crawfish pretty much up until it starts to, you know, get really cold and freeze. I'm just gonna go there every single day and throw the traps to just keep stocking my pond for free. That way you don't have to go buy crawfish and do all that stuff. But if you guys enjoyed today's trapping video, let me know in the comment section down below. Remember, if you guys want a land shark, it'll be linked down below. You guys should go check it out. Check out their YouTube channel, make sure you go subscribe. And if you have a homestead or a property or you're a deer hunter and have land, I'm telling you, this thing is an absolute beast. You've just seen the beginning of it. We're gonna be using it all fall, spring, summer of next year to kind of develop this whole property. I'm super excited about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.